Welcome back. So this upcoming weekend, the Academy Awards will celebrate the movies by handing out the Oscars. Where's our popcorn guy to fill these up? I know. Yeah. We need some, right? <laughs> Where's, the bourbon? Where's, the bourbon? Where's the bourbon? Where's the bourbon the for bourbon the popcorn? And the popcorn. Well, you guys know it's all about the films, of course, and the fanfare on the red carpet for they the big day. They have lost control in Studio A, but on Main Street, a local theater on the road to marking its 100th year, is finding its way through COVID and streaming services to keep the magic of the movie alive. This is, this is a great find. I want to show you something. These were up in the attic. <laughs> You'd get a dozen of those things for a movie. Projector parts. We're going backstage. There's his Royal Theater. Inside the Royal Theater. Bef before we get to these, I, I want to go up here in one of the original popcorn bags. I'm going to get this framed. This one's made on lobby cards. I just, I just appreciate these things. I mean, History I is on display. You know? These were underwater in the boiler room. From seats to suites frozen in time. Even a section of the original wooden floor has been preserved. There's the original floor. When, when you come back in here, you literally are stepping back into time. You really get to see what was going on in this place. We found the old whiskey bottles hidden in the, the projector room. So you could just picture yourself, you know, the, 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 the guy sitting up there while the movie's running, tipping back. The original theater was built in 1914. It was moved next door in 1927, where the current structure stands. In recent years, the wear and tear became visible, and new owners stepped up to keep the local landmark open. Movies in general is just a great escape. In 2017, Bill Wright and his wife bought the theater and since then have invested thousands of dollars in renovations. That's included. I wanted to show you the posters that we've got up here. Right. Dusting off yeah. dozens of old posters. I wish I could display them all. Of the classic films once featured at the Royal. The real story is that while the movie industry has changed somewhat with technology, at the end of the day, it's all about the movies and the people. In the projection room, there are reels of old movies still in storage. The projector has been replaced by a computer system, which continues now to draw people to these seats to smile, scream, or savor a short break from reality. And the winner is? The community. They, 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 the people that come here, they can still see the movies, they can still step back in time, they can still find a place to get away from life's pressures, to get lost in fantasy. It is a gem. Please support your local movie theater. And of course, this is Oscar weekend here at WRTV and throughout the ABC network. So are you more interested in the red carpet fashions, Todd Clawson, or the films, ladies? <laughs> oh, the films. Yeah, the, films. the fashions. By far. Yeah. <laughs> West Side Story. Film, West Side. Films for me. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Even though he's wearing a Versace suit and <laughs> <laughs> Christian Dior shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, I wish. <laughs> All I can say is bring on the popcorn, Raphael. Yes. Next time. Next time.